Did you know that one in four children in Louisiana lives with food insecurity? That means they do not have reliable access to enough food to meet their basic needs. And that number includes nearly 30,000 children in Orleans Parish alone. United Healthcare wants to help ensure kids have access to the nutrition they need, so they have partnered with some schools to create a food pantry program. Joining now with all the details are Felice Hill, the Director of Health Equity and Community Engagement for United Healthcare Community Plan of Louisiana and Tara Johnson. She's the CEO of Einstein Charter Schools. Welcome, ladies. Welcome, Malik. Thank you, Thank Thank you so you much. So much. Yes. And I am so thankful that both of y'all are here because y'all mm -hmm. are really doing something that's really going to help out our kids. And Tara, I want to start with you. You work in the school system. I think my big overall question that many of us have is why are so many kids food insecure? I think, Malik, especially in the area that Einstein Charter Village de Les is located, mm -hmm. it's choices. Choices, what I mean by that is trying to manage the household, mm -hmm. manage making groceries, manage paying the bills. A lot of the children are affected mm. on a day-to-day -day basis by those choices. It's so true, and I'm so glad that UHC, you all met with teachers, you all met with schools. What were those conversations like, Felice, and what made you all say, okay, this needs to be fixed? Well, we met with those teachers and school officials to un better understand the barriers that children are facing. Mm -hmm. We know that uh, there's a lot of barriers, and food insecurity is one of the barriers that uh, kids face. They learn more and better when they are well fed mm -hmm. and have the right nutrition. And so with United Healthcare, we wanted to make an impact to change the trajectory of food insecurities mm -hmm. uh, around our state, but particularly in New Orleans, and partnering with uh, Village de Les and Einstein Schools. Uh, we know that a lot of health uh, barriers come and health outcomes are impacted by uh, food insecurity. No, it's so true because at the end of the day, if they're not getting the food that they need, how can they thrive in school? How can they right. thrive in the sport that they play? How, how can they thrive in the community that they serve if they are hungry? And what's great is that you all have partnered to do this food pantry program. Yes. It happened at Einstein. How did it go? How did the program work? So everything is great, as always, in the Einstein Charter Network. We make it great. Uh, the food pantry program is a drive up or walk through. Mm -hmm. It will happen every month. Love that. Once a month. Families are able, of course, families of, our, of the children that we mm -hmm. serve That's the requirement. are able to walk up a drive up, receive their groceries once a month, and that will be coupled with nutrition education, cooking demonstrations, etc. Because at Einstein, we educate the whole child. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure, and I'll go back to my initial statement about choices. Parents are doing the absolute best that they can, but it's hard to manage whether you're going to pay the bills, buy groceries, and do everything that's involved in your everyday life. So we try to make that as easy as possible. At Einstein, we provide lunch of course and breakfast to our scholars my rule as the CEO of Einstein Charter especially with uh, our vendor that contracts with us that provides the meals mm -hmm. the children can eat as much as they want anytime that they want because it's key to make sure that they have a balanced meal or a balanced snack every and it's day. so great that y'all did this food pantry and you're going to continue to do it once a month because as many of us know the kid is getting fed at school, but yes. once they go home, they may not be getting fed. But in order to get fed, they can drive up or walk up to this food pantry and get the help. And UHC, y'all are not stopping with Einstein. Next, y'all are headed to Broadmoor yes, on November 9th. Talk to me about this yes. fall into health fair. So we're working with the Broadmoor High School in Baton Rouge, who also set up a food pantry and a backpack program with United Healthcare. So we will be doing different types of events, uh, educating the teachers, educating the parents, educating the kids about better health. We want them to thrive. Uh, and the only way that we can do that is calling partners to the table mm -hmm. like LSU Ag, mm -hmm. Southern Ag Center, uh, DePaul, 
those types of entities coming together with United Healthcare and schools like Velazquez and Einstein to make an impact and a difference. Our kids are our future. Absolutely, yes. and the present, honestly. And this is going to be free, right? It's open to the community. Yes, it's free and open to the community. Come on. Now, look, we have about one minute left. Mm -hmm. I got to ask you, though, Tara, your reaction to seeing the kids getting that food from the food pantry. I'm sure it made you feel just wonderful. Words can't really describe it. And I'm not lost for words ever. But when I'm silent, that's what makes you know that I'm truly full. I'm blessed to just be a part of it and make sure that our kids are getting everything that they need Come on, on a day to day basis. Come on, educate the whole child. Whole child. I yes. love that. Well, Tara, so nice to meet you, you, baby. Thank and you. Thank you. Thank you and UHC for partnering with schools like this to help keep our kids fed. And look, everyone, if you want more information about University, how, University Lord, United Healthcare's <laughs> community investments, log on to uhc.com. And don't forget that fall into health fair is happening November 9th. All right, stick with us, everyone. We have a lot coming up on Great Day. We'll be right back with more Great Day, Louisiana.